just go, hey, look, we're happy to just go all in, dive forward, and see if we can take these big team fights. Yeah, it does mean that if you are going to get kind of a big, heavy engage on that top side, you will be putting a lot of eggs in the extra kick basket. You are looking to kind of be, okay. Ooh! Leo is here, and you can see the Renata not too far off either. So maybe we're going to see some fireworks up on this top side. The Flame Splitter kind of pushing in Irrelevant. Now going to get ghosted upon. He flashes away. He doesn't have his equalizer just yet. They flash in on top of him. Irrelevant needs one more auto, and he will get it. He hit level six, but it shall not save him. Now Shio knows that he is dead to rights. Two to one to SK. At the end of the day, but you still get the two kills. But with all that pressure on the top side, it means the resets come in for BDS, and they have got top or unfortunate positions as both top laners now find themselves in a 1v1. The equalizer comes down as well as the overheat. The ignites me ticking onto Adam. He's got some extra movement, but he's not got the damage. And that is the power of the rumble, the shred on the magic resistance, and you just put down your overheat. And that's the big one there, especially with the hex drinker for Adam. He's already planning to try and make a play happen, but now look on the bot side. Yeah, gonna see them now go for a 2v3. As Dots still get taken out, Crowny just perfect. Big. Summoner spell is burnt. Maybe SK can look for a pick before out. Oh, they're looking for one right now. There's the charm coming in. No Cyclone, remember, but you've got yourself a cease and desist. There's going to be the ultimates comboing in. They trade it back one for one. Good flash from Sir. This means he does not get He's picked up, but good chompers now keeping SK at bay. You've got no rumble here. Shelly in the drop down, and that's only going to be plates towards Marcoon. There's a relevant and Adam trying to see if they can dodge each other out. There's going to be a little bit of damage. Oh my god, relevant needs one more auto, and he's going to go down. Just enough there. BDS, because I don't think they're the best of front lines to try and take these fights. No, nope, they're going to look for one right now. No flash on Shio, but he has to use the cease and desist. There's going to be the hostile takeover doing just that. Marcoon can't really get a finish off on the kill. Shio gets another shield, and Sirtis goes golden, but it's only to delay the inevitable. Nuke comes in and does just that. And they tried to take the fight immediately, but you don't have extra kick in position, but now looking for one more. They're going to go right straight onto Labrov, who goes down. No bailout for him. That's just going to be a child there as well. So now you have the opportunity to, okay, we're going to push mid, move with Nuke down to bot lane, crack open that turret. So BDS plunk the Rift Herald down in mid to try and force SK to defend mid so then they can get control over Dragon. BDS, you don't want to be caught in the pit if this combo goes end up coming off from SK, which is why they're playing so far back. Yeah, you're going to see the handshake come in. They get a knockback on Dots, but there's a good equalizer. Dots will still go down to the rocket. They're going to try and see if they can take out Shio on the backside as he's forced to flash away. The Unleashed Power is onto the clone. That was a great decoy, but they've run straight in onto Sirtis. He gets no chance, but they're putting down the feathers. The shutdown at the two for two. Exekick lets the feathers fly. Oh, that zap was almost exceptional. But it's a two for two. In the end, you feel like BDS are still coming out that bit stronger. They just managed to eke away from the engage from SK. Oh, Marcoon. Here we go. Marcoon, you don't need to be there, and you will be shut down. Nuke picks up his second kill, and again, just small little differences in the di and three on the Jinx, really rocketing themselves towards a two, three item spike. And BDS. see if they can try and bite back. At least the moment getting good wave control. You can see getting that top terror down just off of side lane. Minion more and more vision control. But this is really nice from BDS. I just think at the moment having Crowny in mid to shove that wave. But SK are way too late to this party. This dragon is going to be secure. That's going to be soul. An infernal soul. Trying to consistently being drawn into these fights, but not actually able to pick up the gold or in these grouped situations. Labrov, though. Labrov gets charmed, but the scout of the week is good. They're going to pop down the ultimate onto Crowny, try and separate him out from the fight. Dog gets jumped on by Adam and he is dead. Marcoon can't make much else work, but he does get the Syndra now. The Jinx is getting excited. Crowny's on the hunt. They haven't found Sirtis, but Crowny has a feeling he's somewhere in their own jungle. You've got the 1v1 back in the top lane, and Adam asserts his dominance on this Ola. That's the big thing with the Rumble, is that if you cannot get these ultimates down, if you cannot find the right angle, they just feel a bit like nothing. It just feels like they don't do anything. Especially since, in a second, Labrov can just throw out that ultimate if you try and go for those engages. Well, you've lost a fair bit of summoners, but you've got yourself the exhaust and the barrier. Labrov does get caught by the Everfrost, but doesn't get hit by the charm. That's a little bit of a misplay there from Sirtis. you got to feel Rocket goes right between the points, or posts even, for three points. And SK, yeah, like you said, they're just going to have to try and put call for these, you know, side lanes because they haven't got the engage. They can't get on top of people, but they also can't cover all lanes at all times. And I think there was a basic call of like, hey, look, do we try and all in on bot side or do we try and all in on Adam? They try to go for bot, and it's costing them now. As again, bot lane terror going to be taken. Yeah, that's going to be the base cracked open on the bot side. That's inhibitor number one. Almost certain to fall with it. They've got the minions in mid lane as well. Sir, just trying to use the orb of deception to see if he can maybe get rid of these minions. But 
it's just so, so difficult right now. There's just not really a lot you can do as SK with this Baron buff still going. You just have to kind of sit there and watch. You're looking for a, a miracle hook from DOS that kind of goes into a full wombo combo. Everything landing on top of Because Even the Nautilus is going to be shredded down by a lot of this damage. And speaking of damage, they're going to look to try and get a support and jungle combination here on top of Relevant. He cannot trade back the kill onto Labrov as he gets hand shook away. Sporting the minions into that mid lane to give himself an angle as well. They're going to jump it on top of Marcoon. Good charm here on the Geo. Means he's going to have to use his stop watch. My god! That was a hell of a lot of damage. And it's not going to stop either. Your feathers may fly. But you are being turned into KFC, my son. And that is going to be SK kind of rolling over as BDS continue how they left the regular split and looking just as good in game number one. And you can hear the French crowd here. Happy as Larry with BDS. That was a fantastic game. The path of stops yeah. in a negative <laughs> way as they now finish off the Nexus. Yeah, Crowley doesn't care. He got the win. Straight into what we were already talking about, which was the Darius, because at least now you got the hop, you can slow, you can try and get that hyper to keep at bay. And I think this is actually just a good read from SK. The chances are BDS were going for the Darius. And I love the fact that when BDS are playing as well, Geo is making use of that counter jungling and putting Marcoon behind as a result. Well, Dragon looking like it's going to be the first start here, but with no cleanse here on Exekick, he's forced to flash away very early, but the Arctic Assault. And that's with Marcoon kind of in the area. That's with their jungler there to maybe go for some kind of a re-engage, but it's so quick, it's so... And it's again back Relevant, to the... going to play relatively defensive, especially with the... Uh, oh, cleanse gets used there as Lebrov goes in with a handshake, but you've got Nuke move roaming down here. They're going to try and see if they can catch out Doss. He cannot flash away, and he gets taken out by Nuke. Petrifying game. He's got access to that hostile takeover. You are looking to try and make moves here. Adam going to pop the ghost, and you imagine he's going to try flash as well. As the blast goes, oh, he doesn't hit it. Can he get away? No, Nard back into the wall, and SK bring themselves back to that top lane dominance. Snuck himself around the vision. Adam does not know the Monkey King is here. Relevant doesn't have Mega, though, so this is kind of a, a hard one to really make work. They are going to jump in with the Cyclone. Adam taking a fair chunk of damage. He does have the stacks, but he does not have the time. And that's going to be a kill up on that top side. Sirtis tries to move down, does have the cleanse from the spell book. And keeps himself alive. Didn't use his flash or his spirit rush. Here's the hostile takeover. Doss flashing away. Not quite sure where LeBron was aiming that one. And ends up all kind of just being a couple of ultimates shared. But here we go. We're going to see if they can sell another little bit of a charm. Shio trying to run away. There's going to be the ultimates there from Crowny and, of course, from Nuke. They're not quite able to get an extra kick. Still alive underneath the table. Or it's going to be underneath the tower. They are getting themselves more and more kills. They got the Tyrant on the top side as well. As you can see, Sirtis trying to dance around these fights. Labra forced to flash away from the charm. Crowny still putting... To commit to the play underneath the tower. Oh, do they want to try and fight for this dragon? That is the question. Marcoon is here, but he doesn't really have an entrance strategy. They felt like they were kind of over eager to go for certain things, panicking a little bit. And... Surely goes down exceptionally fast just yet. SK knock off the Lulu, but they are kind of moving everyone in. Irrelevant goes into his Meganar form. They jump in, they're going to try and catch Adam. That is Dragon Soul Point now confirmed for BDS. But will, where will the fight go afterwards? Ultimates going left, right, and center. BDS on full retreat. Marcoon on the back side of this. The flash charm is good. Shio forced to flash his own. These are so many low health bars, and those chakrams are doing the damage. The Afeli is in from Exekick, and Nuke not doing too badly himself either, so... SK, Def total vision control right now, and for SK, they're going in blind. Charm does land on the shield, he's just gonna walk away, but again, it's a case of SK trying to see if they can bait BDS away from this position. mid prior was so important. Oh, they land the ultimate, they put down Sirtis into a stasis, because he's got the Miasma as well. There's a good hostile takeover to kind of reset! The feathers fly, and they cut down Exekick! He had no way of reacting, the damage was insane. Crowny with great position on the feathers, even managing to move across with the Gale Force to get it now. Adam goes! Adam gets in, gets himself two, two movements for his trouble. They're gonna have a relevant use as Meganar on the backside of this, but everyone is disengaging because that is a Mininar. He is just a child in a battlefield and he doesn't belong. There was no flank, there was no chance for SK. Beat Yashio though! Just about able to get out of there. I mean, Sirtis has nowhere to go, and you're in the Miasma! And that is why the Cassiopeia was banned in game number one. SK find themselves in a bit where they have to go for this. They're looking for plays as a four-man, but I don't know if they're going to be able to go for it. Actually, as a three-man, and Exekick finally gets themselves something. They get a four-man knock up here with the Cyclone. Marcoon trying to see if he can maybe delay a little bit longer. There's going to be a good charm on the Geo, but Irrelevant's not Mega right now. The flash over with the hostile takeover is decent, and it separates everybody out. Double kill coming in from Crowny.
was no ultimate on Exit Kick. He was counting down the seconds, holding the Infernum Gun, saying, please, buy this best of three would have planned. They've executed very cleanly, and they haven't panicked. And now BDS are getting to reap the rewards, pushing in on bot side. SK trying to see if they can find answers on the top end, but BDS won't be stopped. Going to continue to put the push forward. And even in your looking in the mid lane, potential for a dive onto Exit Kick here, but they're just going to go for the inhibitor tower instead. Yep, you'll be able to trade this one back. I will say Irrelevant should be able to get himself the turret here as well, as Adam has not even attempted to move towards him there. But so it's actually not that bad of a trade, if I'm being totally honest, for SK. This is a good moment for them to kind of get a little bit of gold back from those gold bounties. They're not a million miles behind. If they can get that inhibitor, it would have been fantastic. But going straight into Meganara with new coming, definitely not the uh, position you want to be in there as irrelevant. No. We're going to see them catch out. Oh, Clans no. gets huge, but he does get himself away. The feathers do fly. They bring it back, and Doss is dead. Crowny is just styling on them right now. He wants this series over and done with before he can even get to dinner. The TP coming in here for a nuke gonna immediately set, set up for another terror to be taken here by BDS. Raccoon force set on topside means he's not here and there's no defense that SK can really mount. Oh, SK, you gotta pray to whatever god you think is fair. Because right now there is no fairness in the world, there is just results and BDS are looking for the 2-0, a clean one and a decisive one at that. The crowd know what they want. This could be the final fight. The Miasma goes down. Irrelevant doesn't even get to go. Mega, you will stay a child. Double kill for Nuke. Exit kick hasn't got the right guns. The Nexus turrets are falling. BDS cementing themselves in the LEC as one of the teams to beat. As they will smack down on SK. They chose you for a reason because they knew they could get the result they wanted. And they chose for SK to move down into that.